Hey everyone, it's me, Peter at Paradise, and today's video is going to be how to take your hamster outside. So as you know, it's summer season and it's very hot, but this is a great opportunity to take your hamsters outside so they can enjoy the outdoor experience. Although taking your hamster outside may seem simple, there are quite a few things to consider first to ensure your hamster's safety, and I'm going to cover all of them in this video. Firstly, make sure your hamster is tame, because if they're not, then they could be very scared and being outside could stress them out. Also, you may have a hard time getting your hamster in and out because they don't trust you and are scared, so having them tame is important. The next thing to consider is grass. So it's important to know that the patch of grass you're using has not been sprayed with any kind of chemicals or pesticides because that could be very dangerous to your hamster if consumed. Obviously make sure there is no dog or cat poo on that patch because that would be very unpleasant. And make sure there are no harmful insects nearby that could sting your hamster. And lastly, ensure there is no rat poison because you never know what your parents or whoever is living with you has put on the grass. So be sure to check with them and make sure it is pesticide free. I would also consider the temperature. I wouldn't go over 30 degrees because that may be too hot for your hamster and I definitely would say if your weather is near this temperature I would definitely have them in the shade because they could easily overheat in that kind of temperature. As for what to put them in, there are a couple of options. You could use a hamster cage roof or a rodent cage roof or you could use a rabbit or guinea pig run. Just make sure the spacing is no bigger than 1cm for Syrians and 8mm for dwarfs and Chinese hamsters, so they can't escape. I also wouldn't suggest an open playpen, as it can make them vulnerable to birds, and also there is more of a chance of them escaping. So I would say whatever playpen you're using, make sure it has a top and is secure. You also want to make sure that there are no holes and dips around the playpen, because your hamster could easily slide underneath and escape. So make sure it is flat all round. When it comes to positioning, there are a couple of choices. You could have them in the shade, which I would suggest the most, just because they're not in direct sunlight, so they won't overheat. Or you could have them in the sun, but I would still suggest putting a cover on top as you don't want your hamster to bake, especially in really hot weather. As long as you have some form of shade and shelter, then that is the main thing. Now, unless your hamster is trustworthy and definitely wouldn't run off, you could even let them explore freely on the grass. I personally wouldn't take the risk and would rather be safe and have them in a secure pen, but it is up to you. Birds are important to consider as hamsters are prey animals and birds are predators, so they could easily swoop down and grab them from the ground if they are roaming freely. If you do decide to have them running freely, then I would keep a very close eye on your hamsters at all times and obviously do not take your eyes off them for a second. I would also keep any dogs and cats away just for the meantime because they could stress out your hamster and even terrorise them from outside the playpen. Unless they are actually bonded and are very trusting, then that would be okay. It's also really nice to have some toys for your hamster just to give them something to play with but also somewhere to hide. As for time length, I would say 15 to 20 minutes is a good time to have your hamster out. I wouldn't suggest going over this just because your hamster may become bored and want to go back inside. And when they're out in their playpen, make sure to monitor them at all times so there is definitely no chance of them escaping. So now you're aware of the safety conditions and have everything set up, you can now watch your hamster explore and play safely. So that's the video, I really hope this helped anyone who is considering taking their hamster outside. So any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you want to see more, then go subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then don't forget to hit that like button and we'll see you next time. Bye.